Hi, welcome back. Let us discuss about two interesting cases of Guillain Barr syndrome in our case video series. Guillain Barr syndrome is relatively common, acute, and rapidly progressive inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. Diagnosis of Guillain Barr syndrome is determined mainly on the basis of clinical findings and CSF analysis. Most of the imaging studies are done to exclude the other conditions. So, mostly the T1 post contrast is the go-to sequence. Plain studies like T1 and T2, mostly you won't get any findings. Whenever you see enhancement of the coronas medullaris or nerve roots of cauda equina, you have to think in certain differential diagnosis like AIDS-related polyradiculopathy, sarcoidosis, lymphoma, metastatic conditions, and GBS. So why do you get enhancement? The abnormal enhancement thickening of intrathecal nerve roots in GBS is suggestive of breakdown of blood nerve root barrier and is correlated with perivascular disease as there is lymphocytic and macrophagic infiltration around the endoneural vessels that is associated with demyelination of affected nerves. The thickness and degree of enhancement tends to get smaller with clinical resolution of symptoms after immunoglobulin therapy. It should be noted that T1 weighted images without contrast medium and T2 weighted images are usually negative. So let us straight away go into our two cases which we have uh, recently diagnosed. So this is the first case uh, shared by my close colleague and associate uh, Dr. Sandeep. Here you can see <clears throat> there is thickening of the meninges around the conus medullaris and nerve roots with abnormal enhancement of the nerve roots of cauda equina. So this is a classical case of GBS, the clinical and CSF analysis findings were also correlating with uh, our diagnosis. You can see the non-contrast also very rarely can show you the clumping of the nerve roots, which is again not a very specific sign, but you can, you can, you will, you, the, your suspicion will raise and you will like to see the contrast images more carefully whenever you see such findings here. There is enhancement around the conus medullaris and uh, so, subtle enhancement of the cauda equina. So, these are the two cases of GBS which we have seen. Whenever you see enhancement of conus and cauda equina, you should always uh, think about GBS and vice versa. Whenever imaging findings are equivocal and you are not able to find any finding, don't hesitate to give a contrast uh, to pick up the enhancement of nerve roots and also the cauda equina. Thank you very much. Hope this video on GBS was useful for you.